What's going on guys and welcome back to another Overwatch live commentary. Today we are jumping in with a bit of a different hero gameplay today because we will be playing as none other than the Valkyrie Mercy. Most of the live commentaries I do on this channel, with the exception of Zenyatta, tend to be the more kind of aggressive assault heroes because I really love bringing you that action gameplay. But I thought we'd try mixing it up today with a bit of a different hero. Someone who's a bit more in the uh, supporting realm of people and uh, see how we can play. Now, I don't actually play a lot of Mercy, but as most of you guys know, I absolutely love Zenyatta. So we're going to see whether those skills can maybe transfer from one hero to another, as we are the solo support on our team today, which is going to give us a bit of a challenge and definitely a hell of a lot of healing work to keep this team alive as they're going to be taking a hell of a lot of damage, and we've also only got one tank, which is going to make keeping this team living and not dead even harder than it would be normally. Although right now, there is a Hanzo in that staircase, and a hell of a lot of bad guys coming to the point, so we are going to try and fly the hell out of here. Because that team is really close to dying. We've got res up, and I'm low health, so I kind of feel like we want to play back a bit here. Try and keep ourselves alive. And make sure we're around to res the team. When, I was going to say if things go south, but it's more when things go south. We want to be there to press Q and bring everyone back. And then, oh my god, do a dodge like that. Oh, <laughs> that save on the charge, man. That was amazing. Now, one of the big things, or one of the things that made me not really play a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, sorry, medic in TF2, was just that I, I always felt kind of helpless when I was running around. I couldn't really escape if the person who was protecting me wasn't really doing a good job. Mercy in Overwatch kind of fixes that problem though, because with a shift ability, you become unbelievably mobile. If you get jumped on, you can just look for a hero who's on the other side of the point in a safer place and immediately fly over to them, which I absolutely love. Although right now, they are coming in with that ulti and all the ultis. And it's going to be up to me to come forward and get the four man res. Holy crap. Keeping the team back, and oh boy, I reckon that's going to save the point right there. See, it's moments like that that just make playing support in Overwatch just so rewarding, man. It's it's really weird for me. When Overwatch first came out, it was heroes like Farah, 76, Genji that I thought were going to be my mains. And I'm honestly just really surprised that right now I'm really gravitating towards being a support player. But it's moments like that that make it all worth it. So we're going to keep the damage boost on Junkrat for now, as he's uh, just spamming all the way into the choke. Hope he can keep on damaging the team, as we're going to try and rebuild our ulti back to 100%. I get a feeling, though, they are not going to ignore me in this next push. They are going to put some serious pressure on making sure that I die. So let's just stick behind the tanks for now. See if we can get our ultimate up. Mercy's ultimate, if she's healing people who are damaged, just builds so ridiculously quickly. And it looks like we've had another successful hold. Maybe we'll get to play on offense. I guess we'll see. Although, typically, I think most teams manage to cap the first point on Hollywood. Even if it's their last push, it's pretty rare that you get to actually pull off a successful hold. We would have lost right before if it wasn't for that amazing res, if I do say so myself. Let's just jump in here with the Torbjorn. We got res up and ready to go again. Although, as I said, I really reckon that this time round, the enemy team is going to be saying, make sure you kill that Mercy. Because they do not want to have a repeat of the last time. Although, get over here. Get over here, McCree. I don't want you to die. Okay, there we go. We got a triple kill on the point. Three of them are down. They're not going to be capping right now. And I reckon we might actually hold this with any luck. Then we can play on offense, which is a whole other ball game when you're playing someone as hectic as Mercy. Okay. Keeping Reinhardt alive. McCree's good to go. 40 seconds. They've got one more push left. I don't know how many ultimates they have left, but considering they got two honors, I'm guessing they've got at least one nano boost to play with. And I'm pretty sure one of those honors is actually back here. Should we go for her? This is dumb. This is really, really dumb. Where is she? Is she behind the point? What is she doing? Team! Come on, this is unbelievable. Battle Mercy to the rescue. There we go. Okay, time to go back forward. Heal up Pancakes. Heal up the Reinhardt. They got 13 seconds. This is it. The final push. 
That's a really nice dragon from Pancakes. Right there! Oh my god! With a triple kill dragon. And that is gonna secure the route. Okay. That was a sick defense. We got an amazing res. I was gonna say we got gold healing, but, you know, we were the only healer. Doesn't matter. Either way, let's do this on offense and see if we can do equally well. And we still play the game. Of course we do. Because we're Mercy. Stylosa. Feeling a little bit triggered right now. But we come in with the perfect four-man res. Well, this is a bit of deja vu. I figured instead of doing the attacking round in that kind of unbalanced game, we'd re and, what do you know it, it just put me straight back into another Hollywood match. So hopefully this one will be a little bit closer. Hopefully we'll get to advance or, you know, defend back beyond the first point. Yes, I am actually hoping that we lose the first point somehow. But we're going to jump back in, playing as Mercy once again, healing up the Roadhog. We've actually upgraded uh, Reinhardt. As you can see, this one's got a gold hammer, which clearly must mean that he's just... A a universally better player as hopefully he can take a little bit more spam it's really weird when I'm playing Mercy I'm kind of hoping that my team gets shot not so much that they die just so much that I can do some really nice healing and charge my ultimate up but not quite that much okay we should back up we should back up guys this is a lot of damage that is way too much damage okay not good not good I'm coming back here we're gonna go with the 76 and heal up in his healing field Oh my god. Jesus, please. Oh, mother of mm, Gaben. This is absolute chaos right now. Okay, Diva's on the point. I'm just gonna hopefully keep damage and heal boosting her. Fly back up top. And somehow I'm alive. I really don't know how, though. Actually, I'm just gonna res that guy. Probably a bit premature. But considering that Genji is coming for me, I actually don't really want to keep it around for that long. And, oh, God, jeez, how am I alive? I know I keep saying this, but seriously, the number of ultimates they're dropping on my face. <laughs> Just leave me alone, Tracer, please. <laughs> Good God. I mean, we died there. But we avoided death so long that I'm going to call that a victory. You can only live for so long in this game. And I think we pretty much found the living limit. Just spam some shots through here. See if anyone wants to just walk their head right in front of my bullets. Ah, oh, there we go. We got one. Can we go for two? Apparently not. But our ultimate's almost back up again. It was fine that we popped it when we did there. Because as you can see, when you got this many tanks on your team, well, you know, even just two tanks on your team, you can really get it back up so unbelievably fast. Although I'm a little bit scared right now. Because even though we are a total ninja mercy with all these flying left, back, and forward. We are still getting absolutely hunted by the enemy. So actually, I'm going to go forward. We're going to sacrifice our life for the team. For the team. For the Reinhardt, who can hopefully keep me alive. Thanks, bro. Actually, we're going to have to go back out here. Reinhardt. Reinhardt. My love. My sweet. Thank you. I knew you could do it. Just get this and go. Get this and go. Man, I feel like I'm literally Neo from the Matrix right now. I shouldn't be alive, but we're somehow like bending the bullets and dodging everything to stay alive. I mean, at the end of the day, the real key to living is mercy is to press shift every time it's off cooldown and to stay as close to your Reinhardt as you possibly can. But this is the kind of intense gameplay that I absolutely love to have as a support. I don't feel like I'm just sitting back putting a healing beam up people's butt. I feel like I'm actually having one of the most intense Overwatch games that I've had in weeks, which is awesome. And at the same time, we're also keeping the team alive. We're doing it all. We are the ultimate team player. Although that Reinhardt, don't worry, bro. I got your back. I like to try and keep a height advantage wherever I can. Because at times like this, get that damage boost. At times like that, it can just really help you stay alive. Please fly, Diva. I need I need to go somewhere high. I'm going to come over here. Although, oh no. Widow, come closer to the edge. Widow, can you walk forward a sec? I want to jump up to you. Yay, there we go. Thank you, my love. Okay, Diva's coming up as well. She wants the heals. Diva, come up if you need heals really badly. I'm just trying to stay on the roof. I don't trust the enemy team. They really scare me. 76, I got you, bro. 
There we go. Oh my god, this is such a good hold. We lost that first point pretty quickly. But on the second, we are absolutely smashing it. Okay, I'm going to put damage boost on Widow right here. Because I think that buffs her fully charged shot to 200. Or 225, actually. Or 300. I don't actually know the maths here. But it definitely buffs it to more than its normal damage. Which should hopefully help her pick some people off on that absolutely OP sightline. Oh my god, how did they all get up there so quickly? Oh! Okay, let's all walk forward together, guys. Just, if you die, die on the cart. Everyone, just run forward and make sure you all... Make sure you die together. Die well. Make, make me proud. Make me very, very proud. Thank you. Okay, we're fine. I don't know why I'm panicking so much. Mercy is such a stressful job. Love your supports, guys, because they have got probably one of the most stressful jobs in all of Overwatch. Diva, come to the edge, please. I want to keep you alive. But she's making it really hard. There we go. Okay. We're just going to sit up here now and hope my team dies. Yes, that's right. I hope they die. Because then I can get a sick play of the game. I don't actually know if I want to drop on that. Here we go. Two man res. Thank me later, guys. Get out of here, Reinhardt. Reinhardt! No! Thanks for the free ulti charge, May. You're a gem. We are actually keeping the team so healed up right now. I am super proud. We don't have our ulti yet, but we're at 55%. 60, 70%. This thing just builds so fast. When you've just got a couple of tanks on your team, it's unbelievable. And we dodged that hook. That was a smooth little move. All the way to D.Va. Back to Reinhardt. We're just bouncing around like a pinball right now. All the way between our friends. I really want to go to the roof though. Diva, can you fly to the roof? I like sitting up there. It's a, it's a, it's a safe place. No, that's not the roof. That's not the roof. Okay. I'm just going to jump in here. We're all fine. Okay, we're actually not fine. No! Why didn't she listen to me? Oh man, if that Diva had just listened to me right there, we would have held it. That way I could have stayed safe from the Genji ult and we actually would have gotten the res. Oh man. Just having one kind of aerial mobile hero in your team just makes it so much better in terms of being able to go for those big clutch reses. 76! We got him! We got him! We got him! We got him! There you go. Oh man. Guys, you just gotta come to me when you get low. Everyone's staying so far back. I can't keep you all alive! Reinhardt! Oh my god! Okay. Everyone is just permanently injured. The life of a solo support is a tough, tough life. But it's a rewarding one. Assuming we win. Thanks, guys. Oh, no. Genji's coming in. Okay, he's popped his ultimate, though. That was the big threat. That was the big threat. I'm still keeping Reinhardt alive for now. Oh, no. I gotta go. We gotta get back. Now back to the Reinhardt. I want to go for a one-man res. I couldn't get it off. I think we managed to pick two people, though. Come on, team. Everyone, if you're going to die, die on the cart. Die on the cart. Die on the cart. No. Oh, my God. We went from just being invincible to dying like two or three times right at the end in the space of like a minute. Just when it kind of closed in on that last point, there was nowhere to run. Oh, man. That was such a fun Mercy game, though. I think that just really shows for me just how awesome supports can be, especially in Overwatch. They've just done such a good job of making even players like me, who normally only play Assault Heroes, absolutely love being a support. And we actually healed 40% of my team's entire damage, which is really, really good. But guys, if you have a hero you want me to try out in the next live commentary, tell me down in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you legends in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye.